three. Welcome to Take Five, your five minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Have you noticed how when something goes wrong, we always look for somebody to blame? It's like it's built into us. Now, sometimes this can simply be amusing. For example, there's been times when I'm in our kitchen at home and I bang my head on a cupboard door on one of the kitchen units. And immediately I wanna blame somebody else and sometimes I can't. I'm looking around to see who I can blame and who, le who left that door open. And then I realize it was me and I just have to stop and laugh. But the natural reaction appears to be find somebody else to blame. Now, when it comes to trivial things like banging your head off a kitchen unit door, that's, uh, that, that can be amusing. But when it comes to more serious things, it can have devastating consequences. Uh, we're all aware of how the climactic events that are happening this summer. We're seeing f uh, unprecedented floods and heat waves and uh, uh, forest fires burning out of control. On, the, on Sicily, for example, my friend there, uh, Enzo Encontro, Enzo uh, has sent me, been sending me photographs of the volcano that's uh, erupting on Sicily, but also wildfires, and they reached a temperature of 49 degrees Celsius. That's like 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hottest temperature ever recorded in Europe. And so because of this, and because of the, the heat and how dry it is, we've got these forest fires burning out of control. It's happening in North Africa as well. In the nation of Tunisia, they've had quite a number of fires. Now, they don't know for sure how any of the fires have been caused, but police suspect that some of them may have been caused deliberately. And so they were just picking up some suspects so they could question them. And there was one man in one region of Tunisia that when the people in a village that had been destroyed by the fire heard that the police had arrested somebody, they went to the police station and they basically stormed the police station, dragged this man out and murdered him in revenge for their village being destroyed by fire. It later transpired that this man was totally innocent. In fact, he had come to their village to try to help as a volunteer firefighter to put out the flames. And the reward that he got for trying to help them was they killed him. That's the tragic thing that happens when we feel like we've got to find somebody to blame for things that have happened. But you know, sometimes things happen in our lives and we never know who's to blame. Sometimes there isn't really anyone to blame. It's just bad things happen sometimes in our lives. And when we're casting around trying to find somebody that we can pin the blame on, we end up doing more damage to ourselves. Yes, people have been killed in the wildfires in Tunisia, but this guy has been killed for trying to help. And now a number of the people who killed him are facing a trial for murder and may spend the rest of their lives in prison as consequences of their desire to immediately find the person who they feel is to blame. The problem is when we're blaming other people, something corrosive happens inside of us. I do believe that if people do something wrong, they should be held account for it, held to account for it. They should be accountable. But the thirst for revenge is something that destroys us, is something that tears us down. I grew up in Northern Ireland during the 60s and early 70s, and, and I saw for myself how the thirst for revenge meant some people never moved on from the hurts that had been uh, perpetrated on them by other people. And as somebody once said, if we keep practicing an eye for an eye, then the whole world ends up being blind. Sooner or later, we've got to deal with the hurt that we feel. And instead of just trying to blame somebody else for it, we've got to overcome it by the power of Jesus Christ. I know no other power that can help us to overcome the hurts of the past. I don't know what's gone on in your life, but I do know this, that if you've got hurts and you may know who's to blame for those hurts or you may still be looking for who is to blame. But more important than that, 
is to receive healing power from Jesus Christ to heal the hurts that we feel inside. That, uh, that may not help bring the person to justice who caused the hurt, but it will enable us to move on and have a better future and not be controlled by the hurts of our pasts. I pray that God will help us to do this today. And please join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.